this is Danielle, the domestic scientist. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I decoupage some dinner plates from Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to use my DIY decoupage dinner plates in a tablescape. So let's get started. So I'm starting off with some glass uh, dinner plates that I recently purchased at Dollar Tree and I just want to make sure they're really clean. I took off the adhesive sticker and then I'm just swabbing the surface with a little alcohol to remove any debris and any excess adhesive. So for this decoupage project I'm going with some fabric that I found from my local Joann's in the upholstery section. So I'm going to insert a picture just so you can see what it looks like and I chose this fabric because I love the print and I thought it would be really great for some dinner plates. So this project came about for me because I really like doing tablescape videos and I love decorating my table. I have three dining room tables in my home that you'll see me decorate from time to time on my YouTube channel. However, it can be difficult to find the type of patterns that I like and also cost prohibitive. Hence, that's why I'm DIY. So it can't get more affordable than getting these sheer glass plates from Dollar Tree. However, you have a lot more variety in terms of fabrics or even napkins for decoupage projects than you'll ever have for China. So I thought this would be a really great idea. So when it comes to the look that I was going for, I had a wet bar in the back of my living room and I did some wine related um, looks on that bar earlier in the year. So I thought it would be really nice to kind of expand that winery theme over into a tablescape. But I didn't want to go with their traditional wine look with their grapes and everything on top of um, the plate. So I wanted something that paired well with a wine look but wasn't necessarily too on the nose in terms of a winery theme. So I happened to find this wonderful fabric at Joann's and I thought it would be really great to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an, a generous amount of decoupage on the back of the plate. Then I'm going to apply my fabric and make sure it gets a nice tight fit. And then I am going to apply more decoupage to the back and then I'm going to let it dry. So for this project, I am using the Gloss Finish Mod Podge because uh, that's just what I had. But I do know that there are other types of Mod Podges you can use, including one that is dishwasher safe. You want to make sure that the fabric is really saturated so that it gets really great contact between the fabric and the plate. And you should start to see some of the Mod Podge sink in from the back of the fabric all the way onto the glass. So be sure to pay careful attention to the edge of the plate because that's where the fabric has the, the most possibility or potential to lift so you want to make sure you have a really good contact between the edge of the fabric and the edge of the plate so once I have my fabric applied I am going to let this dry overnight and then I'm going to go through with scissors to cut off the excess material and then I'm going to refine it a little bit with an exacto knife and then I'll show you the final results so here are the final results for my project. I have to say I love the way this decoupage project turned out because it has a nice gloss finish that comes from the glass top, but then you still get that beautiful rich pattern coming through. So I think it is a wonderful DIY project for anybody who really likes to tablescape. However, I did face a couple challenges that I want to talk to you guys about. The first issue is the material that I chose I think was just way too thick and so it became a little bit difficult to work with because of the thickness of the material. So when I put the Mod Podge on the back of the glass and I put uh, what I thought was a generous amount, it still wasn't enough to get the best contact to make sure that the front of the material was thoroughly saturated because when I put Mod Podge on the back of the um, fabric, it just didn't seem like I could get enough to soak all the way through the material. The material just seemed to just suck it up and just like the Mod Podge seemed like it disappeared. So that was a little bit of a challenge. So if I was to do this project again, I would just choose a lighter weight fabric. Now that being said, I was unable to actually find a lighter weight fabric with this type of a print. So for this particular project, I think it came out okay, but I definitely would not attempt to eat off these plates because I felt like um, I wasn't getting the best adherence of the material. So in some areas, I noticed a little bit of lifting along the edge, and that was a little bit of a problem trying to get the material to stay on the edge as it dried. 
Now my first attempt to cut off the excess material went okay and I thought I had gotten a close enough trim but then as I was filming I realized there was still just a little bit of material peeking through so I came back in after I finished filming and got an X-Acto knife out just to trim it up a little bit more. Now that being said because the material was so thick once I put all that Mod Podge on it the material got even stiffer and it was a little bit more difficult to cut and there were a little bit of fraying edges and I I know that if I had applied a little bit more Mod Podge that the edges wouldn't fray as much so um, there's just a little hair of like fuzz from the material um, not getting that clean pristine uh, cut from the X-Acto knife. Now that being said these are very minor things that the average person probably wouldn't notice and definitely it would not be um, enough of a concern to, to prohibit me from wanting to do a project like this in the future. But as I said earlier, if I was to do this again, I definitely would go for a lighter weight material. So for me, these plates are going to be purely for decorative purposes, uh, especially as I do tablescapes on my channel. So I do think that overall the project came out well. You can finish the back of this plate with a little bit of a sealing spray just to make sure that everything is sealed and watertight and so that you don't get any sticky texture from the dried um, Mod Podge. So now I'm going to show you how I use my DIY decoupage dinner plates for a tablescape. Now I love the plate as is so I'm just going to put it on top of a silver placemat and on top of a really nice semi-translucent silver charger plate. And then I'm going to add this gorgeous white and metallic silver salad plate on top because I want to add some elegance to this look. For my centerpiece, I'm using my very large, oversized, decorative Noble Vines uh, Cabernet Sauvignon bottle. And I love it because I think the label is so pretty. It's nice and black. And then it has those numbers 337 in a bold red. I think it has a very sophisticated and elevated look. Now to my centerpiece, I'm going to add a very small square votive of roses. Now I want to keep this look very simple, very romantic. Um, for a look like this, it would be perfect for a Valentine's Valentine's dinner um, especially if you want to do like a Valentine's themed dinner and maybe you want to pair it with a little bit of a wine tasting the decor is not too fussy and really the focal point for this table is the place setting so leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of my DIY decoupage dinner plates from Dollar Tree so I'm Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I have a lifestyle channel here on YouTube and I have several home decorating projects already posted and so much more to come. And I'd love it if you join me along my journey. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.